way time ago. A way time ago. I ain't too good with my words as much as I used to be. I like talking like a hick now. I didn't it all summer last year. It's carried over in the winter. Sometimes I talk like I'm normal. With a little pretentiousness on purpose. Yeah. But wouldn't you be a little pretentious if you were white? I didn't even choose a white effect. I've chosen one that's called a rose. It's supposed to be rose. It's supposed to show off my tan I got so far. See, I'm just demonstrating that I'm a white man. Because I'm only three-fifths of a man. According to the Constitution. That includes, you know, and I'm just like a moderate one. Not even moderate, a slight. They say I got Cherokee blood, huh? I ain't researched it. My sister did the genealogy of our family, going back, all the way back past the coffin boats and everything else. And we came from Ireland. Yeah. No shillelaghs here. Just bare knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> I say I'm black Irish. I think I am, because of the black hair. I just, it used to be so black, because I had to avoid the sun at all costs. It's like a vampire. Now I just stay up all night and sleep all day like a Lilith. I didn't even know her back then, but man, she's weird. I didn't know she was part owl till recently. Dude, they ain't necessarily wise. They don't wear glasses like that woman. Woo. Dude, have you ever heard of Screech Owl? It's actually called a barn owl. We looked it up on the internet. We went through all kinds of sounds, and the one that sounds like a panther screeching, or a banshee, or a woman getting raped or something, or being murdered while she's being raped. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, freaking bird making that noise. Dude, they're everywhere out in the sticks. No, I ain't heard one since that camping trip I was on. Where I was, we were staying in that deck, and we slept in the guy's pop-up camper. We were low life, so they wouldn't let us sleep in their house. It was a big old house, and it was just the two of them. Can't be letting no dirt balls in that do the help. I'm just kidding. I like you, dude. Wayne, was it? You're a nice guy. You didn't like it when I grabbed a machete to combat the banshee that was coming our way. Chef Leopard. <laughs> My brother's good at those memes. <laughs> I don't know if I can respond. Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. <laughs> and I'm still recording. I hope. Hey, LOL. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just say LOL. That's pretty funny. You gotta admit, Chef Leopard. He only had one arm, man. I don't care how many pedals I came up for him. Or with for him. That's, that's talent. That's No, that's perseverance. If you ain't never persevered in your life, like I'm a recovering heroin addict. No, well, 2007 I was. It's been a while. I had a few tastes since then. And the reminders is all they were. Hell, yeah, you used to do that. And you used to seek it out daily. You didn't really seek it out. You just called it uh, Carlito, or Freddy, yeah, the Mexicans. They were in the cartel, probably. And they had the, oh, nerve. Pinched my nerve. They had the real juice. Well, not the juice, but the tar. And it just started trickling in when the Afghanistan conflict began. Isn't that interesting? We were shooting this stuff called Nuban or Nalbuthine. That's how we justified shooting up. Idiots, man. The stuff you'll come up with as a young adult, especially in these times, and in this country, we are some dope fiends. I ain't even joking. And everybody's bitching about the Mexicans. Well, yeah, if they didn't need to have a quinceanera, there wouldn't be no drug problem. Mm-hmm. Fifteen-year-old's birthday party? It's sweet 16, Mexicans. You're a little behind on the times. Y'all spend like a million bucks on them things. You're as bad as them people on those shows. I don't know. I ain't watched TV in over a year. Well, it's approximately a year. It was last May when I said... Fuck this stuff. I ain't wasting my time with it. And I went to Atlanta to work. I packed like I wasn't never coming back. I packed everything like a bitch. I mean a woman, excuse me. I don't mean to call you bitches. Half of you are at least. Especially American women. You're some proud freaking slags, half of you. I mean, you're some tricks. You know, my mother and my aunts. Aunts. I call them aunts. Growing up, so I ain't gonna change it now, but I did for... Uh, you know, aesthetics. If there could be applied aesthetics to words, I think there are definitely aesthetics to words. Like taupe. What else?
else are you going to use that word except when you're writing or talking? You ain't going to be preaching no sermon about taupe unless you're talking about John Baptist's leather and belt or his camel hair outfit <coughs> that he girt about his loins. He ain't even in the kingdom of heaven. I don't understand that. But he's not. He that is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than John the Baptist. I don't see how that's possible. There's like one of the few things in history I would like to watch. One of them would be, I'd like to hear David sing an actual song. I would like to uh, there's a, I would like to hear John the Baptist man my friend told me this I'm kind of copying him but I'd like to see John the Baptist preach say that this is the voice of one calling out in the wilderness make straight the way of the Lord I had a uh, grandpa great grandpa John Baptist Hawkins they always called him John B. Baptist Hawkins I never understood that. B meant Baptist. Why would you say the B then the Baptist? I guess it's part of the times or something. I don't know. I heard they R U N N O F T. The only time I ever ate rabbit was at his house. It was right there on Minnesota Street, southeast side of Indianapolis. It ain't so tough here. But boy, they like to think it was. We had a whole black guy in our town when I was growing up. Cross burned at the Catholic church I went to. Read Revelation, please. And then dispute that. No. Uh, that was traumatic, I guess. But, uh, no. I don't think the Ku Klux Klan likes Catholics. Oh, I'm a Catholic, practicing one. I'm drinking, I drink every night. At least one. Yeah, at one point, I was taking like six hours to finish one. Other than the nights I was drinking one, then I realized. Beer's expensive. I cut all my habits in half, at least. And then since I had money, I ramped them back up. Get my tolerance way down. Like weed, for instance. I ran short this week. I called to get some tonight, or this afternoon. Oh, we call you back. They don't want to help nobody. I only need a little bit to get me through till Friday. It's Wednesday night. I know so because they're having church over there. 